fixing to get started on a uh, coffee cup or a travel mug. Uh, one of my buddies at work asked me if I could do one. I told him I'd like to give it a shot. And uh, he asked me what it would cost him if I made him one. I told him buy two of them. <laughs> so so uh, I've got two travel mugs to make. One for him and one for myself. So uh, I ordered this kit from uh, Chefware Kits. Uh, like Carl Jacobson did. And... Uh, I'm going to give this a shot. And all it is, it just it comes in a little... It's just that right there. The, uh, the lid just screws off and you... And basically you have an insert. So, uh, anyway. I got to kind of studying the instructions on it. And they're very detailed. Uh, but they call for a 3 and three quarter inch by three and three quarter inch blank uh, seven inches long so I figured that's pretty good the uh, the guy at work asked me to uh, pick the wood myself I asked him what color you know what type of wood and all he wanted and stuff like that and he said will you pick so what I picked was this piece of apple right here I think uh, it just kind of caught my eye it's got a bit uh, a little bit of a burl right here on the side. It was a crotch cut. You can see right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put this kind of off center just a little. So I can get a little bit of that burl figure in it. I hope. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to give it a try. But what I'll do is I'll figure out what part of this I can get four inches as close to the side as I can. And uh, as, as close to all of this as I can right here and transfer down probably around the center here so uh, on this side so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to turn it down on a, to a cylinder between between centers I'll use my spur center and do that but then I'm going to transfer to my new chuck finally got it in my one way stronghold uh, haven't got to try it yet uh, very anxious to do so and uh, but it, it came in uh, it's heavy it's way heavier than my Barracuda was uh, but I'm going to use it hopefully eventually I'll use it for everything right now I'm keeping my Barracuda to, for, the, for the number one jaw set and uh, things like that just you know for the smaller stuff what was happening with my Barracuda was as you would turn the key to get that thing tight, the key would slip. And just over time, I've had it for about four years now, and I've used it a lot. It is a very good chuck. Uh, it's balanced well. It, it gets a good, sure grip. But by, uh, by letting that thing skip to you every now and then, you know, it's... Uh, I can't really get it tight anymore. So I got me a one-way stronghold now. Hopefully uh, I can I can do whatever I need to do with it and, and not have to worry about if I can get it tight or not. Okay, well, I got my centers marked. Got one on this end, one on that end. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drill a little hole right there just for a For my spur, be a little bit of relief for my spur there. And give me a decent one on the other side also. For my center, for my live center. All right, Let's get her chucked up. get this thing chucked up and I'll be right back okay well as you can see this thing is way way gonna be out of balance 
So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to turn this thing very slowly, or as slow as I can anyway, uh, to knock this off and try to get, get down to, to a cylinder. But I just noticed another problem. I've got a real divot right here. So, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it anyway. Maybe it'll work. With this thing being off center like this, I've got everything locked down good and tight. And I'm wearing my face shield. So, anyway, we're going to get started. I'm going to try to put a tenon on this end. Uh, because if anything's going to be cut off of this, I want it to be off of this end. Because my figure and all won't be down here. So I'm going to try it about here up. Making that my, my actual cut. So here we go. Tenon on, uh, tenon on the bottom, got her turned around, mounted in the in the chuck, and uh, got my Forstner bit in here. The instructions call for two and one eighth inch Forstner bit, but I only have a two inch. That's the largest I've got, so I'll have to I have to play a little bit more. But uh, I need to find out my depth. The instructions say just to put this on here and mark and mark. Okay. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use this my little depth gauge and uh, mark it that way. And that's going to be right at the back of my chuck right there. All right, so. I don't even have to mark it. I'll just go right to the back of my chuck right here. Move in our portion a bit. sharpen that force a bit. It's really throwing the shavings out. One thing too. Hang on to these shavings. These end grain shavings. Because they will 
go down to almost nothing. They will grind down to almost nothing. They're perfect for filling cracks and voids and, and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to hang on to some of those. I'm going to hang on to some of those. I finished getting this thing bored out. Alright, now the instructions also say to, to check these with vernier calipers, or vernier calipers, whatever what you call it, and uh, transfer that to the inside. You check the outside diameter here at the top with your calipers. Well, it doesn't have to be veneer calipers, but with calipers. Check it. You check the, the diameter with it, and you transfer that to the inside. The way you do that, you hold this side out away from the piece, and you just put a scratch mark with this side of the caliper right here. And you can manipulate it until both of them come together. That looks like that's about it right there. And I'll periodically check it with that too. So anyway, I'm ready to get started here. Get started hollowing. I'm just going to start out with this with my hollowing tool and change the chip out on it. I'm going to put my square tip in. These are the uh, cobalt high speed steel cutters James Templeton sent to me. All I'm really trying to do is get it hollowed out to the right diameter. It's still got a little bit more to go here. Actually, that's pretty dang close right there. But, and for the first couple of inches, it's straight. If you look at the cup, let me put this down. For the first couple of inches, the cup is straight right here, and then it tapers down to the to the bottom so it's going to be a challenge to get this thing right but the biggest challenge is going to be shaping the cup normally i'll shape the outside and then come back and match the profile with the inside it's going to make it a little bit tougher trying to match the outside to the inside <laughs> well here we go Okay, well now as I go, what I'm doing, I'm marking blue ink all, all over this, all over the insert here. And I, I'll put it in there and just twist it. And it leaves it in little ridges right inside where, and that shows me where it's uh, contacting. And that's where I concentrate my, my hollow. And it's just a, it's just basically a trial and error thing until until you get it all done. Okay, on these cracks, this really this is a, a pretty big crack here. But I'm gonna fill that with sawdust, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna fill it with sawdust and try to conceal it. If I try to conceal it, people uh, people will see that and they will see that you just tried to fill it. 
I'm going to try to bring it out and what I'm using is, is some of my walnut uh, some of my walnut shavings and all I'm going to do there I'm going to get some in my hand here I'm just going to start working some of that into these cracks I'm just going to work it in there just like that And I know I haven't done any final shaping yet, but I'm, I'm trying to fill this crack all the way up. And maybe I will, maybe I won't, but uh, I don't really like that thing sitting there the way it, that it is. Right now, uh, it's very, very, very scary trying to turn this thing. this I, and I believe I'll probably end up having to come back before I'm actually finished and uh, probably have to come back before I'm actually finished and do this again but that's okay I'm just kind of stabilizing the crack right now anyway is all I'm really trying to do but all you're doing is shoving all that stuff in there and getting it in there just about as tight as you can get it. And then we're going to put super glue in there and see if we can stabilize this crack. Just a water thin super glue. It's a good liberal amounts. Because you want to soak in all that wood on the on the uh, other sides. Okay. Alright, well I'm going to let that set for a few minutes. And I'll be back. Okay, now I'm just uh, trying to cut this tenon. It's, it has to be 3 8 inches. Uh, it has, has to be a 3 8 inch tenon. Now I'm just trying to shape it down to where it'll fit in the inside. You have to be careful, it's getting really thin. I'm just going very, 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 very slow. See how, see how she does. Almost. Okay. I'm just going to taper the end of it just a touch. That'll help it slip on better because I've still got just a little bit more shaping on the inside to do. And I believe that ought to just about get it. If I can get it out. There we go. See where my lines are. Okay, I still got lines right here, right on the inside there. So, alright. I'm going to finish hauling this out and I'll come back when I'm ready to shape the outside. So I'm gonna get ready to uh, I'm gonna get ready to shape this thing. So I need to find the bottom of it. I'm gonna do that just with my depth gauge here. Make sure I get in the divot there. Okay. Now I'm in the bottom. 
lock it down come down here and mark the bottom which will be right there that's the bottom of the cup I'm going to play it a little bit safe here and I'm going to go maybe about three quarters of an inch further down so I'm, I'm going to do that uh, probably long about right here and that's going to be the bottom of the cup so all right now let me this here, measure that. Okay. So that's the bottom of the cup right there. All right, what I'm going to do for my width on the bottom of my cup here, so I'm going to come all the way down and measure that. Right now, that's at the very bottom. I've locked it in, and I'm about three quarters of an inch there. or closer to five eighths actually okay so I'm gonna bring that down I'm just gonna bring that down with my parting tool I'm gonna try to get that down to about a quarter of an inch <laughs> I don't know what I was doing I don't know why I set you up like that but uh, anyway okay I've got this down to about five sixteenths of an inch right here at the bottom and I'm just starting to bring this down to uh, match up down here. Very, very carefully. And what I'm watching is this up here. And I'm still just a little bit off right there. But I think I'm just about ready to leave it right there. For now. Right, and I know I can take about an eighth of an inch off of this whole thing. final shaping what I'm gonna have to do is I'll have some uh, repair work and all to do that I'll have to uh, I have to do like in here and all in this these little holes and stuff here all that have to be repaired I got some cracks and I'm gonna do it the same way I did the other with the super glue and, uh, and the sawdust and, but for right now I'm just gonna continue on shaping All right, well, now it's down to the repairs. And what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to get all this bug stuff out. I'm going to do that right here with my knife. I'm just going to scratch it out. And I'm going to replace all of that with walnut, uh, that walnut dust. And it's just, you just dig it out is all. Just dig it out. That stuff gets pretty hard sometimes. There we go. I'm just going to dig it all out of all these places. I'm going to replace all of it with walnut dust. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do all my smoothing up. I'll do all my smoothing and uh, we'll put some finish on here I already like the shape of this thing but I have to shape just a little bit more to to smooth all this up real good but uh, I like it I think it's looking really good all right 
Well, I'll be back. I'm just gonna I'm gonna pack all this stuff with walnut dust and uh, and use some thin super glue to uh, to harden it all up. All right. Well, I'll be back in a few. All right. Well, now I'm just uh, I'm starting the uh, to re uh, smooth up the repair work. I'm just doing that with some planing cut. That super glue, that super glue is really hard, so take your time and just get it done. All right, we're just going to start out with some 80. Sanded up to about 400 or two 400. I'm just going to start putting on the finish. And I'm going to use lacquer, and I'm just going to use it straight out of a can. Trying to trying to get on it. All right, first coat is just a flood coat. I'll be sanding most of that back off too, so I'm not worried about any runs or anything like that. And uh, I'll be back once this gets uh, cured up just a little bit. Okay. Well, I think I've just got my last coat on. I don't know here in uh, just a little while if that'll be the last coat or not. But uh, chances are this thing's going to sit out here overnight and uh, cure up real good. And tomorrow morning I'll come out and I'll park this thing off, fix up the bottom, and uh, finish it out. All right, well, it's been out here overnight. <clears throat> now we're going to start getting ready to park this thing off. And I'll get it reversed around. make my jam chuck all I did uh, once I cut cut the cup off uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the rest of this stock right here for the jam chuck and what I'm doing is I've got my vernier calipers they're set to the diameter of my cup actually with just a little bit extra so it might take me a couple of tries but I'm gonna Yeah, right. 
you that looks that looks pretty good. So let's get the cup up here and see what it does. Alright. Okay, I think I'll be alright right there. Maybe. Hope I didn't get too loose. If I did, I'll just come back and do it again later. We'll redo the tenon. Tail stock pulled up here. to see how she spins. Alright, it's spinning nice and true. Okay, well I'm going to have to cut this tenon off now. And uh, I'll try to set it up where you can see. Let me reset the camera. Alright, well hopefully I won't be in your way. I'm going to try to get this thing cut off. Well, got the bottom done. I had some repairs to do, just like I thought. I ended up punching a hole through the bottom as I was taking that little nub off. I was taking it off with a chisel, and uh, the chisel pulled that up through there. So it ended up being about uh, less than a quarter of an inch thick. But the way I'm going to finish the bottom is I'm just going to use CA. It'll seal it up good, and uh, that's a lot. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the words first. Go ahead and seal in the words, so I don't have to worry about wiping them off. I just wrote custom made for Ryan Cowart, who is the man who wanted this cup, and. Uh, <clears throat> He wanted the cup, and uh, so I custom made it for him. So I, I put that on there. Then, once that sets up, I'm just going to come back and put a couple of coats on the bottom side, and uh, and this thing will be done. All but gluing it in, gluing the insert in. All right. Well, it's nice and set up now. I'm just going to. Put a good coat of CA on here. I'll wipe it with a paper towel. Just like so. I'm going to let that set for a few minutes and then I'll put another coat on and I may go three coats, you know, cover what I feel like doing and uh, then this thing will be done. I'll mix up my epoxy to uh, attach the cup and we will be in good shape. I'll give that to them tomorrow at work. All right. Well, I'll be back in just a minute when I get ready to put that epoxy on. And I don't think we will have enough. Well, all right, there we go. <laughs> Wooden travel mug, what an idea. That's, uh, that's really cool, it's a good uh, project for wood turners. Uh, a lot of good challenges in there, trying to get the inside to match, 
you know, with the outside, uh, with the uh, insert, I mean, and, uh, you know, shaping the outside. But anyway, I used that old gnarly up, gnarled up old piece of wood and uh, had to make several repairs, but I think it turned out pretty good. A lot of nice figure in it. And uh, I think he'll like that. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Oh, by the way, uh, a guy named Mark, Mark Bades, sent me this in the mail. Big old chunk of walnut. And uh, I'm really anxious to get it turned. Thank you very much, Mark. Uh, he also sent a couple of uh, spindle blanks here that I can uh, cut down and make, make things out of. But that is a beautiful piece of walnut. It looks like it was a crotch cut, perhaps. Uh, good figure in that. Thank you, Mark. Thank you a lot. Mark just started his YouTube channel. And uh, he built his own lathe. He built it out of a treadmill motor, like, uh, like I took out of a treadmill on one of my videos before. And he, uh, he built one. And uh, you need to go check it out. It's pretty pretty neat. Uh, and he's, he's turned some things with it too. So, y'all have a good day. I'll see you down the road. I gotta go cut some grass.